Hey friends, welcome back. Today's video is very exciting. We are romanticizing fall and doing a cute little cozy fall reset. We're basically just gonna be hanging out for a couple days while I decorate for Halloween or just, I guess, the autumnal season, but Halloween is my favorite holiday. <laughs> it's actually sort of wild that I haven't already decorated. Life has just been moving so quickly and I desperately need it to slow down. So this is part of this video, trying to take a step back and live in the moment by doing all of these cute little fall things that I love to do so much. So we are decorating for fall. We're we're gonna be baking little fall treats, making fall drinks, reading fall books, and doing a, a fall makeover for myself. Not a, not just my house, like I'm getting my hair cut and dyed tomorrow and I'm really excited. So welcome to the vlog. Just gonna be like a cozy chatty time, but in order to continue to chat, we need some coffee. <laughs> pour is exactly why I never put the ice in first, but this time I tried to do something different. Never again. <laughs> it still looks like relatively the right color. I prefer it a little bit darker, but it's okay. Brown sugar cinnamon latte for Sydney. <laughs> this is how I make my lattes at home year round, actually. <laughs> Later in this video, I definitely want to try to make my own pumpkin spice latte at home, make some sort of like pumpkin puree and maybe a cold foam. That'd be super fun. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Hi, Abby, come here. Come here. Oh, that's good. Hi. What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, you see all of my decorations all laid out, ready to go. That's the first thing on the docket. We're gonna decorate, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> Abby's gonna help me decorate. Why are you so cute? Where do you see yourself? There's no way. There's no way. The vet said that you're going blind a little bit. Before we decorate, I did want to tell you about the book that I'm reading. <laughs> I'm really excited about it because this morning I wasn't sure what I was going to be in the mood for. And the moment, the moment I started listening to this book on audio, I knew it was the right choice. And I love when that happens. I started at the Pumpkin Spice Cafe by Miss Lori Gilmore this morning. And it was published last year, got a lot of really good hype. This year though, I've been seeing some mixed reviews. So I didn't really know what to expect. My only expectations going in were literally just like fall atmosphere. Besides that, I didn't really know what else to expect. Expect. but there are so many things that this book has going for it immediately. I didn't know that it was small town or maybe I did, but I didn't know how like small town focused it would be. I just, I love, I love a small town. <laughs> Everyone knows everyone. Everyone's in everyone's business. There's a book club that runs the small town. The mayor has like clairvoyant dreams that he uses to make decisions for the city. <laughs> And of course, it's our main character, Jeannie. Janie? Jeannie's aunt gifts her the beloved Pumpkin Spice Cafe in the small town of Dream Harbor. So Hallmark. And Jeannie jumps at the chance because she is starting to really hate her like day-to-day -day desk job. Something traumatic happens to her at that job. And now she's just worried about what her future holds if she were to stay in that job, basically. So And so she jumps at the chance to live in this small town, run this little cafe. <laughs> Same, I would do the same thing. And then of course she runs into Logan, who is the local farmer who avoids Dream Harbor's gossip at all costs. But Jeannie disrupts Logan's normal routine and he tries so hard to, you know, not get roped in and not be drawn to her, except he is of course inexplicably drawn to her. Will Janie's happy-go-lucky attitude win over the grumpy but gorgeous Logan, grumpy sunshine? Or has the city girl found the one person in town who won't fall for her charm or her pumpkin spice lattes? I just love it and let me tell you when I opened this book like literally just now and I saw how big the text is and just how this book feels it feels like a book that I read growing up. It feels like immediately cozy, just like, just physically. I don't know how else to say it other than I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> I think I'm roughly to page 50. So obviously not too far in, but it's reading very quickly. And I think we'll have no trouble finishing this over the next couple days. <laughs> so I'm very excited to continue Pumpkin Spice Cafe. We are going to drink this brown sugar cinnamon latte and start decorating. I, I don't have much in terms of, you know, decor. I thought about going out to like home goods marshalls and all of the really cutesy like fun shops and getting some some new decor but i honestly just don't want to spend the money <laughs> and because i do think that what we have is fine i think what we have is is good enough for right now <laughs> so we're thrift decorating plus i think caleb would have a conniption if i came home with more knickknacks <laughs> 
but there are a couple fun things. There are a couple fun things that we're decorating. Okay, so obviously like the living room, I have pillows, I have, you know, leaves and little garland things, um, but there is specifically a little like, like chest upstairs. This is what it looks like. I'm really excited about it. We originally thrifted it to like put a sink on top and use it as our guest bathroom sink, but it was actually like much too short and it just ended up not working. But Caleb refinished the top for me and now it fits literally perfectly on this wall in my library. And we're gonna do a little bit of decorating on it. <gasps> Wait, I just had the cutest idea. I know I just said that I don't wanna like purchase anything new, but this would be so minimal. But I was thinking about maybe getting some like window decals for the little window that I have in my writing nook in my library. I think that it might be cute because I, I used, I grew up with these. Like I think this one in particular, um, I think I had this. <laughs> They're sort of just like nostalgic and adorable. I might do something like this and then we can put these up like later, you know, because this vlog is spanning today, which is Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Saturday because I work at the hospital on Thursday, Friday. <laughs> and I think that these could be here like before Saturday and that would be really cute. I like say what you want. <laughs> I love the little jelly Klingons. Ugh. They're just, they're just adorable. Okay, so I might do something like this. Oh, also, okay, like actually low key, high key, I will be purchasing this because we wanted, as a collective, Caleb wanted these too. And I forgot about them until this exact moment, but some like stick candles like this, these are like battery operated and they have a timer, but we have a like wrap around uh, sleeper porch on the front, like top of our house. And we wanted to put candles like in every window because it would look really cute from the outside. <laughs> Um, so actually like I probably will be purchasing some of these and it's a set of six. Okay, stunning. Um, yeah, we're we're gonna get those. I'll make the final purchase later. I just like put some in my cart and I'll actually look into it later, but that's actually really exciting. I love the fall. <laughs> but okay, I'm going to pop on the audio for Pumpkin Spice Cafe again. We just got to the point where our two main characters are having their first like sort of situation or hang, I should say. <laughs> and there might be ghosts involved. Involved. Who knows? I have no idea what the mystery is and I am just really excited. I think it's adorable. So let's pop that on and get decorating. Basically, my issue is that I don't know how to properly decorate this little hutch thing that I have. Um, I'm really excited about it and I can't seem to commit to anything. <laughs> I originally had just like some of my most recent hauls on top, but there's not enough space to put all of the hauls. So I don't really want to like separate them because that mentally doesn't feel right. And then I also was like, okay, why don't I just put books that I'm like wanting to read soon on top, but then that involves some of the recent hauls. So I don't want to intermingle books that I haven't talked about in a book haul yet with books that I have because that just doesn't feel right in my brain. <laughs> so right now, I think I'm actually going to stop. <laughs> I'm gonna take it all down. Yeah, I definitely have to keep all of the hauls together. The ones that I haven't talked about yet have to stay over there. This little thing was like just all of the small little books that I'm excited about, just like like all the little short ones. Um, that doesn't feel right either. <laughs> they don't like relate to each other, so why am I stacking them together? Just because their size? Like, sure, but that doesn't feel right either. <laughs> I could kind of treat this as like a little like shrine. Like I could put some of my favorite books down here or series, but then that means that I would have to like reorganize my shelves again <laughs> because if I put like Faithful of the Fallen here then that makes a huge chunk of open space in my bookshelf that I'm not prepared 
to address. I think this is just gonna be like trial and error, but I really don't know what to put inside. I really am at a loss. This was the part I was most excited about and it's the part that I know what to do with the least apparently. And I didn't think that was the case until now. So I'm just gonna leave it for now. Um, I'll come back and see if I think of something else to do, but for right now, I think I'm gonna leave it. Um, I did want to show you this little trash kitty that I got. It was in like a little mystery toy thing, you know? Look at how freaking adorable. It's so cute. I also got a Kirby one and it's I just got the, the original. Um, love them both so much. I'm gonna put them on top of my desk because they actually make me the most happy. Actually, maybe I'll put them right here. That's kind of cute. I'll leave them there for now. I might move them to my desk later, wherever I'm gonna see them the most because they actually bring me a lot of joy. But okay, a couple other things that I wanna try to hang up. We obviously have more pumpkin pillows that I'm just going to like toss on there because it's cute. And then I have another one of those like little little cord ghost thing. I thought it would be cute to put one up here on like across my bookshelf perhaps. My favorite, so cute. Okay, cute. I love these little ghosties so much. I just put it on the middle shelf and it'll be cute for filming. Last thing I have is more of these little like little ghosty candles. I'm just gonna like place them random places like on the shelves. I hung up these pumpkin lights around this window in the writing nook. And this is the window that I was talking about maybe getting those like jelly decals for, which I think would be super cute. Okay, it actually feels so festive. <laughs> Whenever I decorate like this, like I don't know if anyone else is like this. Like it is really exciting, but I also like am horrible at making decisions. Like this is stressing me out. This little hutch thing, I'm gonna have to have Caleb come help me with it to be completely honest. Um, everything else like actually feels pretty good, but I hate making all the decisions. Like I, <laughs> like our outside decorations, I already know where they go because I've been doing them the same way for like three years now. <laughs> so that's the last thing that I wanna do for decorating. And then I don't even know if I'm gonna have time to film today. I was going to try and film my September wrap up. I don't know if I will. I don't even wanna do a September wrap up to be completely honest. And I don't even know why, but we'll see how I feel. Maybe I'll rally because another thing, ADHD, I forgot about my latte. I haven't even finished it. <laughs> So I'm going to have a quick snack, finish my latte, then we'll put up some of the outdoor decorations. Okay, I did some of the outdoor decorations, but I don't know what it is. Mosquitoes love me. I literally was out there for maybe 30 seconds and I already got bit, I'm not kidding you, four times. So um, I did what I could. <laughs> I had to be quick out there. So I only hung up my little ghosties that hang from the little like hooks on my porch and then did all of the really cheap, but sort of adorable like lawn decorations that go in our little planter bed. Again, very cheap, but they do the job. They're kind of cute. <laughs> But I think that that's mostly it for decorating for right now, at least. I'm happy about it. I love having little Halloween decor up. I also am now 55% into the Pumpkin Spice Cafe, which is phenomenal, flying right through this. And it's giving me everything that I really wanted from it. The writing isn't necessarily my favorite, but there's also nothing wrong with the writing either, you know? Like it's very accessible. It's very easily readable and bingeable. There's nothing complicated about it. Like I just, I am having a great time. Let me just tell you though. <laughs> I thought that this was like a cozy mystery. I mean, I guess it, there is sort of like a mystery aspect because Jeannie and Logan are trying to figure out what is going on in like the alleyway behind her cafe. Her garbage cans keep getting pushed over and just general like nuisance -y things. So I guess there is a mystery, but like, I don't think it's necessarily pitched as like a cozy mystery, unless it is. I think it's just like a little romance book with like a little subplot of mystery. <laughs> but regardless, I thought that it was going to be like all cozy mystery and then maybe a little bit of romance, you know? I don't know, like I, I don't know. <laughs> Again, like I said earlier, like I didn't really know anything about this before I started reading it. But doesn't the cover sort of give like cozy mystery vibes? I think it does. Regardless, I'm having a good time. Um, their relationship is developing nicely. I think that the small town like protect your own sort of mentality is really great in this book. I think that the hesitations and the sort of barriers that our two main characters are going to have to get over like make sense for how they are being built. I, I don't really have anything like negative to say. I think it's cute. I'm having a good time. <laughs> but now that I have at least four new mosquito bites and it is 3.30 in the afternoon, I should finish this coffee that I made um, three hours ago. 
I also did eat a banana. And I think I'm just gonna like bite the bullet and quickly film my September wrap up. I straight up have like seven mosquito bites. This is insane. I'm pretty sure there's like something in people's blood that make them either like more or less like attractive to mosquitoes. And I must be smoking because like I swear, Caleb can be sitting out there and he'll like see a few every now and then. But when I come sit out next to him, they start swarming us and it's just absurd. I cannot wait for them all to die. Well, I'll stop complaining and go film a quick wrap up. I successfully filmed and I'm glad I did. I feel better. <laughs> I think I just needed a snack, go figure. I also did move the leaves that were here to up here. It actually makes the room look a little bit more put together, like a little bit more balanced. So we have all like the ghosties over here and then the warm pillows and then the leaves just sort of tie it in. Might look a little bit dinky, but you know, it's cute. We're working with what we got. We oh, are- I love it. We are about to take Avi out, feed these cats who are meowing, and then go over to our friend's house for a spaghetti Western night. <laughs> where we eat spaghetti and do Western things. But that's the plan. Things have been decorated, video has been filmed, and book is half done. So today has been great success. Very nice. <laughs> I that movie. Um, and that's it. So I will check back in probably in the morning. Bye. <laughs>I have so far spent some time editing, got my September wrap up all uploaded and it actually will be very, very quick to edit so I can finish that later. Took Avi out on a very long walk since it is so stunning outside. It was like 60 degrees. What a concept. While listening to the Pumpkin Spice Cafe and I actually just finished. This is a, this is a, it was a great time. There are a couple things that I wanted to mention. <laughs> Um, well, okay, a few things. My favorite thing about this is obviously small town coziness. I think the atmosphere and like the scenes were described really well. Like I felt like I was at that fall fair, you know, I felt it. I could taste the cinnamon donuts and like, and like feel the cool autumn air. Like it, I, I actually really liked the writing for the most part because it just felt cozy. It just felt like nothing too extravagant, which I love like extravagant, like floral writing. I, I love it. But also writing like this, this is so refreshing. Like, I loved it. Now, <laughs> this was a lot spicier than I thought it was gonna be. I don't know, like, I just wasn't expecting. I, I expected maybe like one sex scene, but there was multiple, which I'm not like complaining. I just wasn't expecting it. <laughs> But I also didn't know what to expect when I picked up the book earlier. We already we already established that. My only problem and why this is getting a like a four, I think it's a really strong four. It's not a five because I felt like some of the plot and conflicts were just a little bit repetitive. Like there was nothing ever new. There was nothing really surprising. Um, it just kind of felt like the original problems that were presented in the beginning of the story never evolved. They just like continued to come back and continue to be the same problem and the same conflict between like the two main characters as well as the mystery with like what's going on with her her pumpkin spice cafe you know so i wish that the plot was a little bit more intricate or had a little bit more development or differences as it went on but also honestly like i i feel great about it it did the job of like what i wanted to read which was like an atmospheric cozy small town 100 percent four stars i i had fun i'm so glad that i finished this this morning we are about to leave for my little fall reset Physical makeover, eyebrows 11.30, nails noon, hair 2 p.m. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else does the same thing, but I have to like cluster all of my appointments together so that I just have like one day to do everything or I prefer to cluster them so that like the other days that I have off from the hospital, I don't have to leave the house if I don't want to. Like if I'm off and I want to like go get a little snack or a little sweet treat or a coffee, that's different. But like an appointment, 
no thank you. I'd rather just do it all at once and <laughs> not be told that I have to be anywhere else any other time. Do you know what I'm saying? So now I have to determine what book I want to bring for all of my appointments today. Um, my hairstylist, Megan, is phenomenal. She has a TikTok, a book talk account. I love her and we love chatting. So I don't know, I probably won't read much like during my appointment other than the times that like my color will be setting because I'm going very dark, which I'm super stoked about. Um, I have some options. I can start another short book that I will probably be able to finish by the end of this vlog on Saturday, which I feel like is the smart option. And I just realized that I have two options, which maybe I'll try to read both of these, honestly. We have Woodworm by Leila Martinez. This is my buddy read pick for my book club that I run in my Patreon. And this is, oh my God, it's less than 150 pages or maybe exactly 150 pages. And I'm just obsessed with every single thing about it. I'm really excited to read this. This is like a horror book. And then we also have ML Rio's new book, Graveyard Shift. Um, I also cannot wait for this. This is also under 150 pages. Oh my God, literally. Okay, let me tell you that I'm nervous about Graveyard Shift because I loved If We Were Villains so much. And the length is what scares me. Like how is she gonna make me love this story in such a small amount of time. Um, oh, the chapter headings, interesting. The chapter headings have like times. So it's like 2.20 a.m., 3.50 a.m. with different point of views. So I think, oh, that's kind of fun. This is like taking place over one night is what it seems like. Okay, wait, that makes more sense. Uh, I feel a little less skeptical now because I know it's just over one night. Oh my God, and it starts at midnight. Oh, that's fun. Okay, I guess the the name is Graveyard Shift. But okay, maybe I will read both of these. I'll try to try to get both of these done. My third option um, was bringing my Kindle along and I was going to maybe start Zodiac Academy book one because if you watched my Spin the Bottle TBR, I have to read Zodiac Academy this one. <laughs> but I don't think that I could finish this by Saturday. So I mean, like maybe I could, but not if I work the next two days, honestly. So I might just try to like power through both of these. I feel like that makes sense. I don't know which one I'll start with, but I'm really excited. In the meantime, it is now 11.05. So we have to get going. So let's go get my eyebrows done first. You see all the, the different shades and dimensions? It's called a schmelty brunette. Schmelty? Schmelty is what they call it. Okay, well, when it's daytime, you'll be able to see it a lot better, but that's not what's important right now. We have toys to open. I'm really excited. Did you already show off your original? Yeah, so the little figurines that I showed you earlier, it, there was a trash kitty and then the, the Kirby. This is the Kirby. This is also Kirby. This one's a squishable Kirby. Um, and it's a mystery pack. I could get any of these. I'm really excited to open it. I hope you get the one with the turtle. I want the one with the mouth open. I want this one really mouth bad. Open Kirby. Yeah, like actively sucking in an opponent. Yes. <gasps> Your mouth open Kirby? Ah! Wow! Oh my god. Wow, what are the chances? That's one out of eight? Yeah. Oh, I, the sleepy one would have been really cute too. That's the one that I wanted. Yeah, the sleepy one's adorable. That's so funny. That is so funny. Wow. Like void of a mouth. I is know. Like indented? Yeah, it's indented. Whoa. <laughs> it's like kind of trippy. Wow. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Okay. <laughs> God, this makes my hair look so dark. Like it is dark, but like shadows. Shadows, mysterious. mysterious. <laughs> okay, I really want this one because I already have. What is that? I have the normal one. This is the Kirby that I had in Grand Rapids. I know, but like, what's the what's the one that you wanted? It's like the night one. No, it wasn't that one. I couldn't get two for two. What'd you get? <laughs> you a lame one? No, I mean, this would be the second one that I would want, I guess. I guess. I guess. It's a little guy with a bandana and a spear. 
In a beer? In a spear. Got... Oh. I don't even know what, who this is. You got like pirate Kirby? No, I feel like a fake fan because I actually don't know what those are. Like, I don't know what game or what situation yeah. this Kirby is. Well, I'm being but... completely honest with you, I always thought Kirby was just a Super Smash Brothers. You didn't know that Kirby had his own stuff? I, mean, I knew that Kirby had his own stuff, but like, did he really? Yeah, he sure did. Look at how cute. I can't believe that I actually got that one. That's crazy. Now I want to try again for the sleepy one. Haha. <laughs> -ha. <laughs> I started graveyard shift while waiting for my turn to be in the chair for my hair for like literally five hours. Um, I only got to page two. <laughs> I mostly just read the author's note, which I really, really liked. I liked how she is setting up the story and talking about how the mystery at the heart of the graveyard shift is as much about what keeps us up at night as it is about what's buried in the cemetery. And I think that that's really cool. So I think that it's going to be good. I, but the salon was playing like some really great music today. So I couldn't focus and I was just singing. There was Chapel Roan. There was, oh, Sabrina Carpenter. The bangers. All the bangers, they were doing a great job today. So I couldn't focus on reading, um, but that's it. I work the next two days, so I'll, I'll be a little bit MIA in terms of vlogging, but on Saturday, we're gonna have a cute little cozy day. We're gonna bake some cookies. We're gonna finish at least this book, and I don't know, but it'll be cute, it'll be fun, and I will see you then. It is now Saturday, the final day of this vlog. I worked the last two days and was very busy both days at work. I had to take a new device that I have never had before and I'm pretty proud of myself. It went really well, all things considered, <laughs> but I am home. Now you can kind of see the hair a little bit better. It's definitely a lot darker. I think it's fun. I think it's fun and cozy and autumnal along with these little blood red nails. I said, I want blood, I want vampires and she delivered. And to kick off this little cozy day, I have one more little like surprise toy thing and it is is the spooky trash kitties little little bin. This is the same container that the mummy cat came in. Um, and these are all of the ones that you could get. Literally the only one I don't want is the barfing one. I'd be happy with any, any of the others. <laughs> so let's see what we get. Did I get the mummy again? I got the mummy one again. <laughs> I mean, literally the mummy is so cute. I love her. That's kind of funny. I mean, like, of course I would rather have a different one, but whatever, she's cute. Um, but that being said, I did not get a break yesterday at work, but I did get a break on Thursday and I did start graveyard shift and I am about halfway. So I should be able to finish this today. It's a very quick read. It takes place over one night and our main characters basically just meet up every night to have like a smoke together because where smoking is permitted on the premises of this, I think it's a university and I don't know, wherever the surrounding buildings are, the only place that you can have a cigarette is basically within this cemetery. And it's like ancient, not really taken care of anymore. And one day, or one night I should say, at midnight, they find a hole that's been dug. Dug? They find a hole, like a grave hole, that has been freshly dug. And they are just, you know, trying to unsolve the mystery of what's going on. And it's gotten kind of messy already. We're getting multiple point of views. And some of the characters definitely have some secrets that we are uncovering as well as the mystery of, you know, what's going on with this hole in the graveyard. Is something unearthed? Is something going to be put in? I don't know. I mean, I do know by now because I'm halfway through, but now we're like watching it unfold. Um, and I think it's okay. I, I like it. I think that the atmosphere could be a little bit more eerie. For being a novella, I think that I do care about some of the characters at least. I think it's a very interesting premise, but I'm a little concerned about how it's all gonna come together in this such a short amount of time. Because what I liked about If We Were Villains by Emma Rio so much was how invested I was in the character's lives and how beautiful her writing ended up being by the end and how she tied the whole plot together. So I'm gonna hold out hope that, you know, maybe by the end I'll I'll feel very strongly about the storyline. But for right now, it's it's good. Nothing really super positive, but nothing really super negative either. It's just sort of happening and that's fine for, for the moment. So we'll see how this goes. This morning, it is already, I think, 11. Yeah, it's 11 a.m. right now. I edited the September wrap up and that is 
scheduled, ready to go live in an hour. I want to make breakfast and also try to make a pumpkin spice latte because today on the docket is obviously to finish graveyard shift, but to also make a fun fall drink and also bake some fall cookies. So let's go commence the day. The scenery is right, go right in. I want to fall deep within. Don't leave me hanging just cause I'm too proud. Whisper away my outdated doubts. Somebody do me the courtesy, dress me down. That old yet I'm far too young to not stand my ground. In the ways of mine, and I don't wanna change. Not even for love. Now take back all the hard words. I'm a grown. pretty good. I wasn't expecting how much I was supposed to put in the individual cup and now in hindsight it's funny because every single like reel or TikTok that I have seen about people making these at home whenever they make like a little like sauce or puree thing they really do fill like the entire bottom of the cup and I thought that it was going to be like a concentrated syrup so I was like being really stingy in the beginning because I didn't want to overpower it because I have a sensitive belly <laughs> but no it was more like like a sauce <laughs> that you add to the cup so I had to add like much more than I expected but like it tastes like a little pumpkin spice latte like a little fall in a cup It was also my first time ever making whipped cream. So that was kind of fun I would just drink that whole mason jar of whipped cream too to be honest. So good <sighs> Wow, what a time to be alive. Now the oven is warming up. We're gonna bake some cookies. Caleb went to literally, I think he said like seven different grocery stores yesterday while I was at work to try to find those little Pillsbury cookies and he finally found some. He literally bought like upwards of 10 plus packages of cookies just in case he couldn't find them because the last one he went to, he finally found the Pillsbury ones with like the pumpkin little icon on it. So everyone needs to show their appreciation for Caleb in the comments, please and thank you because he is really the backbone of this video. <laughs> while the oven's warming up while the cookies are baking i'm going to finish my little fall drink and finish my little fall book because i think this is wrapping up pretty soon <laughs> so good that Caleb is going to make his own treats. Some peanut butter cookies, and he has a very specific requirement for them that I do not condone. They have to be burnt. <laughs> he wants them to be- Crumbs. <laughs> like you want to bite into it and you want it to turn to dust. Yes, I want it to, yeah, I want to have to eat these outside. <laughs> not on the couch. No. He likes a really crunchy, crisp cookie. To me, it's the only way to go. You had to I use love the, the water jar to make whipped cream. <laughs> That's what I drink water out of. Look, it was a snap decision because I put a bowl. I used a bowl first. I didn't even say this out loud. I used a bowl, but the, it was whisking it too fast and it was sp like spitting it everywhere. Ah! <laughs> Bright moonlight, I were told when the 
storm is raging in your head When you feel there's nothing more ahead The hills they seem all green but they hide all the monsters And you kept holding my hand as you reached for water The hills by the lake you were chasing your dreams Surprisingly, I just finished Graveyard Shift by ML Rio, and I say surprisingly because I was surprised when it ended. <laughs> I thought that I had at least like 10 or 15 more pages, but no, it ended on page 108 because it has like a playlist, a drink list, as well as like a the prologue of If We Were Villains because they just came out with like a new special edition for it. And so there's obviously like an ad in the back of the book, but I didn't know it was there. So I thought I had more book to read. So when I came to the final, sentence of this book. <laughs> I am a little bit shooken up. <laughs> wow, I really liked this, <laughs> which I'm super happy about because I was not seeing super positive reviews, at least in my Discord. There were a lot of people saying that like they it wasn't really their vibe or something didn't work for them. And all of that, of course, is super valid. Like everyone has their, their likes and dislikes, but it made me a little bit more hesitant, made me a little bit nervous. And 50 pages in, I wasn't entirely sure. I, you know, I mean, it's a short book. It let 50 pages in is, basically half the book, but the like, wow, it really did like come full circle and make me care about all of the characters in such a short amount of time. Ooh, and how it ended is very like open-ended. Like there's no way to know exactly what's gonna happen. Wow, the things I wanna say are spoilery, but this is, this feels similar to the ending of like Catherine House. If you've read that book, then you might understand what I'm saying. Like it could go so many ways. And I, and I kind of love that in a book like this. So I don't know if it's necessarily five stars, but maybe it is, dude, I don't know. I feel really good about it. And that's a little bit unexpected. But after I read the last sentence, I literally like, <laughs> I got to the end and then I like flipped and I was like, like my jaw went, I was like, okay. And not even like, I'm making it sound very dramatic. Like it's not like a super crazy twist. There's, it's not a crazy twist ending. Don't think that. But I just like, I wasn't expecting it to end. <laughs> and I kind of love where it ended is, is my point. So um, yeah, huh. If I were to be picky, I would say I wish there were a little bit more like spooky eerie moments, but also like Emma Rio isn't necessarily that type of writer from what I've experienced from her. So that might just be like putting expectations or wishes upon her that you know she doesn't even like to write um so for what this is i mean i really liked it <laughs> wow i feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders i feel very pleasantly surprised i feel good about it i think maybe like a four and a half feels correct at the moment uh but yeah really solid now it is about 7 p.m. Caleb and I have been eating cookies all day. <laughs> My pumpkin spice latte was stunning. We decorated a little bit together and that was very fun. I still haven't messed with my little hutch Thing. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it still. I think I want to make it like a theme. I think I want to do some sort of theme like that. Maybe like a little shrine of like my favorite series and then in turn redecorate or reorganize my other bookshelves. But that's for a vlog in the future because you can't put like that pressure on me to do it right now <laughs> because I'm not ready and I'm not prepared. So yeah, that will come in the future. But I think that I accomplished everything that I like set out to in this vlog. So so I feel good. I feel good about the books that we read, Pumpkin Spice Cafe and Graveyard Shift. Like, I am super stoked about both of them. This is so great. Now I'm just going to upload the footage and edit this for tomorrow morning. So if you're seeing this, thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me for a little bit. Let me know if you've read either of these books or if now you're interested in one of these books. If you don't know what else to say, then leave me. I wanna say the rat emoji, <laughs> but that's not very fall themed for this video. So either the rat emoji or the coffee emoji down below in the comments. And while you're down there, please do subscribe and like the video. I always appreciate your support. And of course, be kind to one another and happy reading. I'll see you soon. Bye.